Ryan, what does uh, Champions League mean to you as a player? Yeah, it's uh, yeah for myself personally, it's 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 massive. It's the biggest stage you can get onto um, in Concacaf, um, and as well as a team, it's 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 huge for us to play against the best teams in in our region. Um, so I think that this competition will really push us to our limits. And you, you're a Canadian player coming in, kind of representing Canada. As, yes. Uh, as the champions. Uh, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's uh, it's an honor to to be obviously a Canadian player on a Canadian team and obviously representing Canada as a country. Um, and yeah, going forward, I think I think and I hope we can make a run, as well as I think the goal. I know the goal is to win the whole tournament. Um, you see a lot of people say you know they want to make a run or or things like that. Where I think our goal is to actually win. The tournament um, so yeah just chat with Tristan about that the fact that if you guys do go on a deep run it could take a toll on what you do in the MLS and at the end of the day we still want to have you still want to have success in the MLS right how do you gauge all that yeah I think I think the team that the club has built is is built for is built for these competitions obviously we have four competitions this year and if you look at the depth in our squad um, you know, you could play one starting eleven, one day, and have just as good as a starting eleven the next day. So I think that the club has done a really good job in building a good squad for these type of competitions. You guys have been a, a tale of two sides: great opening halves and then questionable second halves. Right. How do you look at that? And also, two-part question is just getting a win. What yeah. do you do for the side? Yeah, I don't think. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think. It's we're in panic mode or anything like that. I mean, Russell Tybert obviously has been in the year uh, league for twelve plus years, and he made a comment in the locker room to us that the season isn't won over one, two, three matches, four and five matches. It's a long season, thirty four matches. So we have thirty two matches more to go in the league. So I mean, if you even saw last year, we didn't make a lot of points at the start of the season, and we came back and we were very close to the playoffs. So we're hoping not to repeat that this year. Um, so I don't think, I think, yeah, there's a there's always gonna be a pressure to make three points. I don't think there's any added extra pressure from the outside coming in. Um, but yeah, of course, it's we're, we're professional soccer players. We wanna win every single game that we play in. Ryan, what kind of game are you expecting tomorrow from the opposition? Yeah, I think they're going to be, um, I think they're gonna be a physical team um, you know, want to get into type of the battles and scraps on the field, obviously. Um, and we're not going to avoid that. Um, it's our home. It's it's BC place. So I think my goal as the defender is obviously to keep a clean sheet, um, something that we haven't been able to do this season so far. So I think priority number one is to keep a clean sheet. And uh, myself, I trust in the talent that we have up front that we'll get a couple of goals. You guys were training with the Nike ball today. Have you noticed any differences with that ball compared to what you use in MLS? Yeah, um, I would say it, it stays in the air a bit longer. When you hit it, it kind of floats, kind of more like a volleyball per se. Um, where the dead, uh, the Adidas balls are a bit more heavier, and yeah, I, I would say I prefer Adidas, but same.